Good morning, everyone. Today is another pre-maintenance checklist video, which means we're going over all of the different campaigns which are ending with this coming maintenance. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to get out of the way is, yes, I am back from my trip from Malaysia. I did spend a week in Malaysia, which is why, you know, the upload schedule was a little bit spotty. But nevertheless, I am back now, so we are going to be going on with our consistent daily uploads. Now, with that out of the way, the next thing I want to talk about is going to be the early maintenance. Maintenance is going to be an entire day earlier than normal, okay? So just keep that in mind. Normally, maintenance is on my Wednesdays. However, it is being bumped to Tuesday, exact same time as regular maintenance just 24 hours earlier. Now the next thing I want to remind everyone is the rare series exchange support campaign. So that is actually your limited time task over here. As you can see Starless Suppression 1, 2, and 3. This one is relatively simple. All it requires you to do is defeat 500 Starless enemies total. You need to do this as soon as possible if you have not completed this already because it does give you all of the materials needed to make a rare weapon. So if you don't have a rare weapon, this is a very easy way to get a bunch Bunch of rare weapons and on top of that in order to defeat starless enemies you can just go to the kavars combat zones in order to defeat them which just so happens to drop seasonal points so if you do need seasonal points you can farm in belugana runes as well as lost central and on top of that if you don't have a rare weapon or any powerful weapon yet you can always use the seasonal weapons over here so as we can see the millennium round series over here these are the seasonal weapons and it just so happens to be super effective against seasonal enemies because you get the extra potency over here you get the critical hit rate as well as the damage resistance and of course you get the regular weapon potency over here which is very very powerful these weapons are very powerful against seasonal enemies so if you are planning to farm a little bit of pse bursting it might not be a bad idea to pick up one of these weapons just use that if you don't have anything better and then these weapons are also pretty good in the limited time quest as well since all the enemies there are also seasonal enemies now the next thing i want to talk about is the ac scratch basilisk beauty this is also going away so if you did want to pick up the chi power or anything really fancy here make sure that you do that soon because once the banner goes away and the supply dries out the prices will go back up now with all of that out of the way the next thing i want to talk about is of course the arcs records the arcs records this week is vanishing path to solo so make sure that you do participate in order to get your 20 arcs record badges and again the reason why you want your arcs record badges is because you can get these weapon camos if you haven't picked them up already as well as star gems as well as all of the mk1 weapons which you can use in order to enhance your fixa on your rare weapons if you want to do that. Now the next thing I want to talk about is going to be the Growthman Exchange Shop. Make sure that you buy all of your different CDs over here. I am actually running low on Growthman because I haven't played this week. So as you can see over here, I only have 222 Growthman left. So I do need to be a little bit more frugal on uh, what I buy over here. So uh, unfortunately, I am going to have to skip some items over here, such as the CDs over here, like the Disc A's. I think I'll only be buying the Disc B's over here and I don't even think I have enough. So I do need to make sure that I still run Lasile Exploration once in a while, as well as do Sign of the Planet Breaker and my uh, Halfia Lake Interception Part 2 every single day, because remember, you can also get a bunch of those growth mints by talking to Leah May. For those who don't know, if you talk to Liam May over here, scroll to the very bottom, there is the Major Target Suppression 1, which gives you 30 Growth Mint. This one requires you to do Sign of the Planet Breaker, but Major Suppression Target 2 actually gives you 60 Growth Mint, and this one requires you to do Halfia Lake Interception Part 2. So if you do both of these, you actually get 90 Growth Mint just from this, and then on top of that, you complete the Daily, which is right here, Let's Seal Exploration, you get an additional 30. And then on top of all of this, just by completing the seal exploration, I believe you get like 15 more growthmen after that. So add that all together and you get a hefty chunk of growthmen, which pretty much guarantees that you can buy all the disc A's, the disc B's, as well as all of the LC capsules every single week. So uh, if you can do that and you have the time to do it and you want to do it, of course, then make sure that you actually do all of that so that you can afford all of these things. Because again, all of these things slowly add up and they kind of have a snowball effect. So, uh, you know, you might want 
want to start early. With that out of the way, the next thing I want to talk about is the Aegis Integra Exchange. I do not think I have any uh, Neo A weapons because I have not been able to play the entire week. But nevertheless, if you do have any Aegis Integras, you might want to buy out all of your Aegis Souls over here. Uh, because, you know, you actually get 50 Aegis Soul 4s if you just buy it. So that's actually pretty nice. And then you can also get all of your Dominas over here. So make sure that you buy all of this out. The next thing I want to remind everyone is the Dread Scale Exchange over here. Make sure that you buy your Customization Disc X. Even though we do have multiple sources of this now with like the seasonal events and like, you know, titles and all of that stuff, it's still not a bad idea to just stock up on this because you can ha never have too many of these. So, uh, you know, it's Dread Scales. You simply just buy this once every single week and you're good to go. And last but not least is, of course, your Alliance Badge Exchange Shop over here. Make sure that you buy out your 30 Star Gems because, you know, every single week, 30 Star Gems, you can't miss this very very simple so make sure that you do buy them now one more thing i want to remind everyone before we end the video is of course your limited time quest over here please make sure to do as many times as you can for the reward medals as well as the free spring 2024 special scratch ticket you get one every single day it's part of your dailies as you can see over here it resets every day so you are guaranteed one ticket for just doing the ltq once all right so you do want to make sure that you run the limited time quest at least once a day simply because because you will get a surplus of these spring 2024 scratch tickets which will give you a bunch of star gems because remember every time you scratch 40 times you get a selector ticket which is a guaranteed 100 star gems so you know the more times you farm the limited time quest or the more consistent you are with your dailies that's a very easy surefire way to get around five to six hundred star gems um you know as usual i will be stocking up all of my tickets and doing a massive scratch on the very last day but from my experience Experience, I get around five to six hundred star gems as long as I do my dailies every single day to get the little tickets as well as buy out the event shop because remember from the event shop you can actually buy out 80 tickets I believe so you know as long as you have the seasonal points to buy them out that's actually uh, guaranteed 200 star gems bare minimum that is actually you know let's say that you scratch 80 times and you don't get any star gems but you use your two selector tickets on the 100 star gem ticket so uh you know that's worse 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 worst case scenario and then as long as you do your dailies a couple days you know you get some even more tickets if you get lucky you get a couple vouchers that drop you combine them together make even more tickets so you know i think it's worth running the limited time quest at least once a day because you are guaranteed one of these tickets every day through the daily special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel it really means a lot to me thank you again but yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.